Thank you for having us. We're glad to be here. Tell, introduce your guys and then just kind of give us an opening statement about where the team is. Okay. So my left here is uh, Aiden Quave, uh, senior offensive lineman. Last year played defensive end for us as well as tight end. Uh, to my right here is Kelvin McBride. Uh, he's a wide receiver, also plays defensive back, quarterback, running back. So he, he plays it all for us. But, uh, you know, for as the season goes this upcoming year, uh, we're excited about it. Uh, some things happened last year that we were not pleased with that was unacceptable. But some things that transpired and, you know, not making any excuses or anything, but we were – didn't have a whole lot of depth. And then when, the, matter of fact, Aiden got hurt, uh, Kevon got hurt, I think the last ball game. So we were struggling uh, when we had some key players uh, to get hurt. And when you have one player in a small school like we have, uh, you know, that, that goes offense and defense, that's like losing two players. So we're excited about this upcoming year. What's your, do, you, do you feel like talent-wise you got the team to get back on track? Get back to oh, yeah. On? You know, I've been over there for five years. This is my second year as far as being the head coach. Uh, but, you know, when we're talking about depth, uh, we went over to Vigor Tuesday and played seven-on-seven, seven, and that was the first time in five years that I've been there that we only had two players to go both ways, and that was Kelvon as well as Caden uh, Washam. But usually – those five that was on offense or those seven that was on offense, except for the quarterback, I had to flip right back over and play defense. But, uh, you know, fortunate this year, you know, we got some not only depth, but we also have some quality depth. Talk about the depth. Uh, did you add the Adams twins to, to the football roster? I know that they played basketball last year with Kyle Jill, uh, but will they be playing football for you this year? Yes, sir. They played their sophomore year. Uh, I think Trent was all state defensive end. Tyler may have been an honorary, honorary mention, uh, but they are playing as well as Shadarius and Shadadric Tootle. Uh, Shadarius played last year, but he was young. He's eighth grader, but he'll be in the ninth grader this year. Right now, we got him slotted to start, but you never know how that is. Everybody look good right now because we're not in pad. But definitely, you know, with the two twins, uh, and those guys that give us some quality depth that I was talking about. When you talk about depth, what are your numbers looking at right now before you actually get your first practice? In? Well, right now, it's, it's, it's more than what we had last year, so I would say probably about 50-something. But again, you know, that's counting about 10 that are in the 7th and 8th grade, and we're trying to build that. We have some more that are coming out, and we're looking forward to when they do get there. Coach, we know you were already affiliated with Todd and Shield when you kind of stepped into the, the rings last year. How are you feeling now? You invigorated? You, you ready to roll? Or, you know, you, you really the head coach making it happen? How, how are things yeah. looking for, for you? Well, it, it's 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 great. Again, like I said, you know what happened last year was unacceptable. You know, you you can't practice soft and then expect to play hard on Fridays. But unfortunately, we were we couldn't practice hard because of the depth and because of the injuries and things like that. So, you know, I told them this year, we cannot practice off and expect to play hard on Friday night. So uh, with that depth, and as you said about how I feel about it, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting back to where, you know, we need to do things the correct way. So, you know, we're looking forward to doing that. Coach, how has the conditioning been for the guys so far? You know, like you said, they're not in pads yet, but uh, looking forward to uh, seeing that. But how has the conditioning been for the guys? Been great. Uh, I say that because I looked at them. We went. We had to do some one tens yesterday, and some groups had to do more than the other groups because people were jumping outside, and we consider that being di undisciplined. Because of, you know, on Friday nights when you jump outside, then you know you get to go to backwards. So they had to run some extra because people. But anyway, they are hitting the weight room hard. You know, this guy here loves the weight room. Even Kevon, you know, they they are leader. He's a leader on the skill. He's a leader at. The big skill, and uh, they are hitting the weight room, and they're hitting it hard. And uh, like I said, those one tens and going out and that heat and running, you know. So it's been real good for them. So I think once August come around, we'll be pretty good shape. Coach, how did you get the guys back out? The time, the 
Thomas boys and these other guys that came out? Did they just come back out on their own? They came back out on their own. You know, they left, you know, and I do. The thing about it, you don't want to burn bridges. They didn't leave in a bad way or anything like that, so they was welcomed back. The Toodles, you know, they played, and uh, so it's, it's not a matter of them coming back. They just decided that they was going to continue to play. Uh, but, no, I didn't, I didn't ask them or anything. Uh, they played, from what I'm hearing, pretty much all their life. I think their love is still for basketball, but I think now that they have gotten some offers, then things may start to change for them. Your staff, does it pretty much remain the same from last year or any additions you've added? Uh, yeah, we, we, we have a new offensive coordinator, uh, new defensive coordinator. So I guess the answer to that question would be, <laughs> would be no. You know, it's not the same. Yeah. You know, yeah. Who are those guys, Coach? Uh, Carvel Jones, um, you know, he played at St. Paul. He was up at Laverne uh, also as well as Chickasaw. But he's going to be our defensive coordinator. Uh, along with myself, but I'm I'm giving it pretty much to him. Uh, we also have Rusty Mason, which I'm quite sure you guys are familiar with. That was over at Faith Academy for some years. Uh, high tempo guy, and uh, you know I'm very excited about what they bring to the table. Coach, you mentioned a lot of the positions. Talk to us a little bit more about him and having two different coaches going one or two this year. Uh, no, I mean we're not in a position for him to, but. But again, because of the depth situation, we can relieve him of, of uh, some of those duties. Uh, but he, he doesn't want to come off the field. That's the thing about it, you know. And, you know, even when he gets tired, we try to tell him, let us know, because when you get tired, then you lose focus and you don't think the way you should be thinking. But, uh, you know, he's, he's definitely going to be on both sides. We may try to take him off some kickoffs, some special teams and things like that. But uh, right now, he's definitely got to play offense and defense as well as eight and fours. Talk about Kelvon a little bit, just his athleticism and what he brings to the table. Oh, man, you know, I noticed that his freshman year uh, when he was uh, ineligible because he came from Denton High, High, uh, Middle School to the uh, private sector. And uh, he was playing defensive back, just rangy. Wasn't as big as he is now, but you could tell that he had some skills, that he was going to be something special. Uh, I noticed because I was the defensive coordinator at the time, and the guys that we had, Samario Rudolph, who's at UAB right now, and Kevon held his own against them. Uh, as far as the re on the other side of the ball receiving, you know, he if it's up in there, you know, he's he's going to get it. You know, there's no doubt about it. if it's up there, he's going to get it, and more than likely he's going to come down with it. What is he in college? What's he going to play? Uh, I guess I had to let him tell you, but I know uh, Vanderbilt wants to, you know, he's committed to Vanderbilt, and they want to, at that Jack linebacker, outside linebacker, uh, there's some other colleges that have offered him as a receiver as well. You know, I think if he gets that uh, 40 time down to 4-5 maybe, I think he's probably 4-6, may hit a 4-5 every now and then, but he needs to get consistent with it, but uh, he definitely can play receiver. He can play wherever, you know. As long as if it's one, as long as he dedicate himself to it, he's gonna be successful. Coach, how has the buzz been around college here? I know y'all got some new stuff going, but dealing on the the football side of the house, how has the community looking forward for this season? I think everyone is excited. You know, they're just excited. You know, again, last year was I call it a hiccup for us, uh, but I think the student body is excited. Uh, the parents are excited. You know, not just because of. Uh, who we have out, uh, uh, but you know, it's just it's that time, football time, and the success that we've had within the last five years without that hiccup last year. Then I think everybody's excited about it. What do you feel the strengths of the team are? <clears throat> skill, the strength of the uh, 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 college of football is skill position. We have a lot of guys that can run, that can catch, uh, that can throw. But the success is going to be determined because the game is won in the trenches with these guys here. If they don't block, then we can't throw it. Okay. If they don't block, then we can't run. Uh, if they don't make tackles up front, you know. So again, the game is won in the trenches. But I do believe that the strength of the team is at the skill position. A little off the College Hill path, Antonio's the coach now at Williamson. You coached him there. Did you ever see him being a 
head coach? Does he have that mindset when he coaches? <laughs> I knew he would be a good coach after he, you know, was whatever happened in Canada. I know he got the opportunity to play in the NFL. Then he went over to Canada. Then he came back. So I think within the last three years, he was a defensive coordinator. So I knew then that he was going to be a good coach. I just didn't think it would be this soon. And I think it's great for the community. I think it's great for the high school. That somebody that has walked those halls of Williamson High School, somebody that has been in the community, uh, so I think it's a good hire for them. All right, you want to get some of the guys up there, Kelvon? How's it going, Kelvon? Good, how about you? Good, man. What, uh, what made you decide on Vanderbilt? Uh, it was just like when I took my visit, it was like the family atmosphere. You know, everybody treated me like I was already there. And it's basically like it's not – Really, the football is the education that I need. Yeah, well, anchor down. Uh, there's situations <laughs> to where it kind of chill being a smaller school. They really love to share athletes. What sports do you play at Cottage Chill? Uh, football. I play basketball too, and I'm running track. How does one of those sports, say in your football game, how does track and field? help you personally or how has it helped you in basketball? How has it helped you in football and vice versa? Uh, basically, track really it just helps me with my speed, you know. Kevin, okay, what do you want to play in college? What position, if you if you had your choice, do you think you're best at? Uh, I really don't prefer a position, just wherever anybody needs me to play. Kevin, yeah, well, so you, you're coming back off, off of injury this year. Uh, what are, what are some of your goals and uh, what have you done to make sure, you know, you strengthen your body up uh, so you, can, you won't have uh, that same injury again? Uh, basically, I've just been working every day in the weight room every day, even on off days, you know, just working. Any, 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 uh, I'm very sure you've done grass work, you know, about track and field. Uh, any, any particular, um, routes, anything like that you might work on, not to give the game plan stuff away, that you like to, to run? Uh, one route I like to run a lot is comeback. What's your What's your favorite athlete in any sport, and, and why is it that particular athlete? Favorite athlete? I really don't have one. Like, I watch everybody, you know, just take in what I can take in, just learn. Yeah, well, how, how much did last year, because you wasn't as good as they've been in recent years, Record-wise, how much does that motivate you guys? It motivates us a lot. You know, everybody on the team wants to win this year. Yeah, well, talk to us about Coach Parrish and what kind of coach he is. <laughs> coach Parrish, he's a good coach. You know, he's going to always motivate you. You know, he wants you, on, he wants you at practice on time. You know, he's, he says if you if, – if you're on time, you're late. If you're early, if you're on time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey, you know, that's a good model. I learned that in the Marine Corps. If you're on time, you're late. So, um, talk about some of some of your, your, your teammates, like this gentleman here uh, beside you. Uh, what do you expect out of them? And, and what what is the, the, the chemistry of the team so far that you have? Every, a lot of the guys coming back. What's the, is there a good camaraderie? What do you guys expect to uh, uh, have going straight out the gate? Uh, we expect a lot out of Aiden. You know, he's a big help to the team. He's always pushing everybody. He works hard in the weight room, too. Uh, the chemistry as a team, everybody's getting that down. You know, with the new office coordinator, new defense coordinator, everybody's still learning. So I think we'll pick up with. I got uh, – Coach didn't say this directly, but I kind of in, uh, inferred that – no matter what the numbers are, practice is going to be tougher than it was yes, last year. Yes, sir. Do you, feel, do you see that already? Yes, you sir. That? Yes, sir. Do you know why? I mean, do you understand what? I mean, it just make us work more. You know, last year we didn't work as hard as practice. Um, I think like we really took it lightly and expected to just go in the game and just play mm -hmm. ball out. But that didn't really happen. Have you yourself talked to any of your other teammates in other sports to encourage them to come out and play football? Coach mentioned that the, the twins were coming out as well as any of the tootles uh, coming out. Have you personally spoken with them or during the offseason encouraged them to play 
football themselves. The twins, yeah, I, I encourage them a little because you know it's our senior season. Why not? Any particular games you guys got got on the schedule that you eager to play? All of them, really, <laughs> but uh, more than all the others, probably Mobile Christian. Mobile Christian. Yeah, that game is going to be a big rivalry game for y'all, man. Especially since y'all are in the same region now. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Kevin. Aiden? How's it going, Aiden? I have kind of the same question I asked Calvon. How, how how motivated are you guys this year to kind of get some redemption from last year? Well, I mean, last year wasn't as what we expected, but I'm pretty sure that this year we'll do better. <coughs> We've been working harder for it. Aiden, you play on both sides of the ball. How, now, how are you able to accomplish that? Now, I hear Coach really grooming you all out there, but anything you do away from practice on your own to make sure you're ready. I mean, I work out by myself as well as at, at practice itself. I mean, I do prehab, rehab, all that sort of stuff. Try to get my body in tune, play both ways. Now, a lot of a lot of kids don't don't do that. I mean, that sounds like some you know you do in colleges to make sure that you don't prevent medicine, as we would call it, uh, and, and that's smart to do. So, what are some of the things you bring to College Hill? Uh, you know, being a senior, uh, you got some younger guys behind you. Uh, what are some of the things you you're gonna bring to the team? Well, I'm, I'm hoping to be a mentor to the to the new to the younger, and uh, to show grit, determination, <clears throat> pushing through, playing both ways. Practice tougher this year. Workouts. Yes, sir. <laughs> Talk about your coach, uh, Coach Paris, and what he means to you, uh, and the impact he's had on you as a player. But not only that, but as a young man. Well, Coach Paris is a very different coach than I've had in most years. He's, he's, he's quieter, but he commands respect more. And I really think he's really good. What about all the training you've done away from football? Like, you do like martial arts or boxing or stuff like that? No, sir. Just, just working out, just speed, strength training, that sort of thing. Is that, is that guy next to you a, kind of a freak of an athlete? What have you seen him do that has been surprising? I mean, he can probably jump over my head if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. Good luck this year. Look forward to seeing y'all. Thank you, Coach.